Ah, the bottom of the ocean and the stream and the little creek. Have you ever wondered what it's like to what it looks down there? Well, now you can. Look at these beautiful underwater plants. Oh, it is so magical how they are swaying in the surf, in the water, ever so gently, never so beautiful. But am I a scuba diver who dives in the water, who makes beautiful pictures and who is mocking you? Or am I a fish? And <laughs> No, you can look at these beautiful images too. With this, the underwater pod. A wooden stick with fins attached to your action camera and you are ready to go. So anyway, how does this thing work? Well, one way of using it is just to drag it behind you on a boat. And you get something like this. Or you can just drag it in the water with a rope. Something like this. Or you can use the forward motion of the water from your boat or from the stream and press it down by using a special fin, a uh, vertical rudder. Forward motion causes uh, pressure onto the rudder and it pushes the entire device down. This is what it looks like. Also made out of wood. Pretty easy assembly. Just put that together. Make sure it's all nice and tight. You don't want any surprises down there. Get the uh, horizontal and vertical stabilizers in the back, so everything stays upright and and nice. And the good thing about this thing is, uh, if the rope should actually come loose, this entire ins uh, construction is buoyant enough in order to float upwards, which you will see in a minute. Right here, the pressure is dropping and the entire thing comes back to the surface. That is quite handy because that's exactly what happened right there. It just came off. I don't know why it came off. It shouldn't come off. It's a security harness, but it uh, came off anyway. And so I was standing here by this little stream. Fortunately, I was in a blind spot and look at me trying to get it back on land. It was not easy, but of course I managed. Now the third way of using it is uh, what I call the well peeper. These action cameras usually are waterproof up to 30 meters water depth, 100 feet approximately. So you can you can get a 20 meter uh, rope or 30 meter rope to get deep down. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get any shots from so far down. But what I so far have been able to capture here, you can see it in dry assembly, is this. Off the coastline of Ireland, there are a couple of rifts there, and uh, from above the surface they already look beautiful. But to use this little device right here, I mean, this is quite something. That's something you really, ordinarily, you wouldn't be able to see. Of course, from above the surface you, you see, yeah, there's a little bit of swaying going on. You see a few plants and a few rocks and white sands, so that's nice. But this is just gorgeous. And no monopod, and uh, nothing you have in a usual GoPro or action cam kit can help you get uh, an image like this unless you're a scuba diver. But a simple device like this, and you're ready to go. Also, interestingly, uh, with something like this, you can go somewhere where no one dares to tread. What am I talking about? This. You can see it there. Bam! <laughs> being smashed against the rocks. Let's look at that in slow motion. Seriously, that would kill you. That would kill anybody. But this thing, even though I didn't intend it to use it this way, <laughs> it didn't get a scratch. Not even uh, the fins. Nothing. It was completely surrounded by water, and so... However, after this, my wife said, okay, enough with this uh, dilly-dallying with these cheap uh, methods and uh, with this cheap and easy equipment. So I said, okay, fine, I'll buy build myself an ROV. That's what I did, but that's a different YouTube video, which you're welcome to watch and enjoy. Thank you.